Hello YouTube viewers and new subscribers and people who haven't been here before. These these crescents I bought for four bucks just about a week or so ago. Nice Sunday afternoon. It's only going to be in the low 40s, but it's nothing about some more of the foot deep plus snow. These are crescent. Before we get any further, let's compare them to this old pair of channel locks. These are channel lock 420. Now, they're almost the same size. Trust me if I don't get the whole thing in frame. Uh, both similar. You know, how they're made. These are definitely heavier. Uh, as far as how thick they are. Eh, well, you notice when I did these, I didn't do this super quality. I mean, these were, if you remember these, I got them a few years back, and the first one I wrote, they were really bad. They looked like this everywhere. It was a challenge to do these with my new tools. These I'm going to leave like this original and we're just going to use just polishing probably won't use try not to use any abrasive wheels we just want to take some polish and take the stuff off that looks like somebody sat there and marked it but it's not an initial but they could have tapped something enough times okay i run this nut down as far as i go then i'm taking my dremel stone on edge and going around there with that mushroom when i hammer them over can you see how they squared out? Like that's how they held it at the factory. I've never seen that before on a pliers. So we're going to do a little more work and then we'll get it off there. If you force that off, you could ruin the threads on this. So we'll be back. This is not going to be a long video. It's going to be just to clean them up. Well. They're not bad. We used two different grits of polish. Not really on here. It's hard to get it out of there, but we had to swipe a bolt and nut out of a pair of pliers we had. They were new old stock pliers, so <laughs> it's pretty nice looking. Uh, there wasn't much threads on the other one, and it just kept stripping. When I tried, I, if I got the nut on there and tried to tighten them up, it started stripping. So. The nut was pretty thin. So, with that way factory, I know it's probably meant just to put together one time, but this is a lot thicker. So, there you go. Oh, you got it set about right. You don't want this too tight. You want it to slide. You don't want it to catch. They'll be used. They're going right in the toolbox. So, thanks for watching this short one. I'll leave you a few nice pictures.